Art apps and tabs works to benefit low-cost art classes. And you can help support the cause by joining in on the fun this Friday. Joining us with more is Deanna Parker, Museum of Visual Arts Executive Director. Thank you so much for coming Thank in this you. morning. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about this event? Yeah, sounds Absolutely. like a combination of some great things. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. This is our annual fundraiser and so it benefits our low-cost art program at the Museum of Visual Materials. So we're going to have art on display from local artists as well as students in our art classes and then we'll have free food, we'll have craft activities for kids to do while they're there, we'll have our full bar open and beer on tap and all bar sales go to benefit our art program. So it'll be a fun free event for the whole family. We'll have face painting as well from Simply Ever After Entertainment. How did this kind of come about? What was the inspiration behind starting something like this in the community? Sure, so the Museum of Visual Materials has always had a mission to support local art and provide art classes for the community. And then we also are an event venue on the weekend. And so we've got like a full bar and we have got that kind of beautiful space to showcase beautiful local art. And so the combination is just kind of a no brainer and bring people into our space and then also benefit the art classes. And what do you feel the benefit of supporting local art is? Sure, I think art brings just so much joy to so many people and whether you're looking to create something that is like a beautiful finished product or if you just want to have the joyous process of creating art, it's just a wonderful thing to have available for people of all ages and ability. And how has this event just grown since you guys have started it? Sure, so this is our third year, um, and so it's gotten bigger each year, and hopefully this is our biggest year yet, and we can continue to provide our low-cost art classes for many years to come. If somebody can attend this event, but is kind of looking for a different way to support you, mm -hmm. how can they do so? Well, you can donate anytime online. We also have um, our links available on our website. You can stop into the museum anytime you want, um, so you don't have to come to the event if you can't make it. And this is a big fundraiser. Talk about specifically what you know this is going to be providing for people, you know, low cost classes, what the real benefit of that is for people. Yeah, so kids of um, all ages and abilities as well as adults with disabilities use our art classes every single week and so it just provides them um, access to those services. We provide a lot of art classes to homeschool students that can use our classes for their art credits and then also our art teacher travels to places that may not have their art program so that she can provide art classes in those areas as well. I remember being in elementary school and our mm -hmm. art program getting cut and a local woman come in, came in and Mm -hmm. volunteered her time um, to teach us how to paint and just for a love of art. Mm -hmm. that, is, that sort of thing is so important to expose everyone mm -hmm. to art and what it can do. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, let's talk about what we brought in. We have some yeah. art with us today. Is there any kind of stories behind the art? Sure, so this is some of the art that will be on display that are examples for our art classes. And so this one that you're holding right here is created by one of our preschool students. And this was created in our process art class. And so the purpose of this class is not to create a finished project that looks like anything. It's all about the process of creating the art. And so this was created with um, paint and then we've got some tissue paper, some tape, we use bubble wrap, and it's just about coming, um, creating the process of art. And so this was created by one of our two-year-old preschoolers. Oh, and that's the creativity too. Yeah. I, can, I have something very similar yeah. oh, from our two-year-old. Yeah, sure, yeah, can absolutely. You, yeah, talk about these ones too. Let's hold them all up. Yeah. All these so, artists deserve yeah. recognition today. Day. Yeah, this one was created in our homeschool pointillism class. And so like I mentioned, um, our art teacher provides classes for homeschool students. And so she does an educational component as well. And so this was, um, they learned about pointillism, which is using small dots to create a bigger uh, image. And so this was created in that homeschool pointillism class. Okay, how about this one? I'll have you help that one. Yeah, also. this one was created by one of our adults from Advanced Day Services in Brookings. Mm -hmm. And so they come down um, and do art projects of all different kinds. Uh, we also serve um, individuals from other adult day services in Sioux Falls. And this was created with water color and oil pastels. Wow. Okay. So again, if people want to attend this, how mm -hmm. can they, you know, get tickets or how do they do so? It's a completely free open to anybody event. It is this Friday from 5:30 to 7:30 at the Museum of Visual Materials. It's a open house come and go, make some crafts, have some free food, have some beer on tap and have a great time. Oh, Sounds right. awesome. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining us today.